fifty percent. We'll go to holding point Bravo, it's the left up here, and you can tell you're ready to cap whatever it is they're ready for. Since the uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine, we have multiplied our flying hours and our presence here on the eastern flank. It's an important signal for also the population of the countries here in the east that NATO has a strong presence here. We provide as much information and as much uh, guidance as we can with the sensors that we have available to this aircraft. Um, yeah, the presence uh, on the eastern flank um, is actually um, so uh, other countries, uh, basically, they see, okay, uh, we're not afraid of uh, anything. Um, and also uh, to support the countries on the eastern flank. So they, yeah, they're not uh, feeling actually alone. And uh, therefore, we're here. So they see, okay, NATO is standing uh, side by side us. Everything uh, what we do here on board um, will be also sent uh, to other NATO aircrafts. Um, that means uh, everything we see on our screen and uh, will be sent to the higher commands. So they see exactly what is going on um, at present and uh, therefore they can decide in making decisions if we would need more aircraft or how we can, uh, what else kind of assets we would need in the future. Um, the uh, the AWACS, uh, the main task uh, for the aircraft is of course to identify uh, all air tracks and uh, also surface tracks uh, no matter where we fly. Um, for the air tracks, um, it is uh, to identify are they friendly, are they uh, the foe, and uh, to see is uh, certain aircraft are they allowed to fly um, in certain airspaces, and uh, also for ships, uh, for example, when we uh, fly in the Mediterranean, to identify um, are those uh, fisher ships or are those uh, pirates. Um, so that is uh, actually the main task what we can see. Um, and also with our radar, we have a long and huge uh, coverage where we can see already from far um, what kind of uh, aircraft is uh, flying. <laughs> 